Hello boys and girls, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I wanted to try this game because I have uh, read that it's got Newtonian physics, which is what I like very much with games. I think Erthel is the one who I know is playing it and very much liked it. And so I thought it would be time to try it out. I have uh, no particular idea what will be this what this game will be like. I only read in the wiki that there is no particular goal that it's a sandbox game you can do whatever you want. And uh, that's about it. Well, I have no save game. I do think I should be training some because I have really no idea what this is about. Construction basics. Okay. I think it can't harm if if I do these basic stuff. This tutorial presented by a famous rocket scientist Werner. <laughs> Werner von Kernmann, <laughs> of course they mean Werner von Braun, himself covers the basics of rocket construction in the vehicle assembly building. He's waiting for you down there and is always in high demand, don't dally. Okay, let's see, what, what can we construct here? It's basically so... What I know about this is you can construct rockets or space f planes and do your own, your own missions. You can think of any mission you like. I just don't know whether there is any kind of earning money and money uh, needed to, to have a space program like this. So, vessel construction. Welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction. I'm Werner von Kerman. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit, fly a transcontinental flight, or step onto the very surface of the moon, <laughs> moon, you're going to need to build a ship yourself a ship. Ah, it should be pretty easy, even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. <laughs> first part required in a vessel construction is a command module. This part will either contain a plucky Kerbal crew or an automated pilot mechanism. Select the command module for from the parts list. Where's my parts list? Is it this one? Is it the parts list? Command pod mark 1. Mark 1 cockpit. Command pod. Propulsion control. Command must be something like control, right? Command module, structure, aerodynamic science, pods. Is this pod a command module? Propulsion. I've got no propulsion. I guess this must be it, right? What is this? Center of mass, center of lift, center of thrust. What's this? Exit. I want to exit. Settings. Okay. Cost 1800. So there must be some kind of money and money making. This costs 1800. Description C7 Aerospace is proud to present our second generation cockpit. Hmm. This unit is equipped to, s to ensure survival in some of the worst conditions possible. The extra reinforcement has slightly increased the weight. Minimum crew to operate 1. SAS equipped? I don't know what SAS is. Contains reaction wheels. Do they mean like gyroscopes? Pitch torque, yaw torque, roll torque, required resource, electric charge, 22.5 watt per minute. Oh, 22 times, 22 and a half times per minute. It has to be charged or what? 
and the electric charge is 50 dry mass impact tolerance okay originally and this is a Carlington model rockets and paper products <laughs> incorporated Uh -huh. So this is a cheap thing. I, I don't trust this cheap thing much. Pitch torque five. Okay, I'll, I'll select this one. Interesting choice. Not what I would have picked, but after all, you are not a famous rocket scientist like me. I think he can say it in any case. Whatever you pick, I go. I go for the reliable parts. Not a paper and pen project. Well done. If you ever need to move the vessel around the screen, you can pick it up by clicking the command pot. Ah. This will allow you to fit more parts beneath the vessel. That's good. Add a fuel tank. Next thing we need is some fuel to burn. Select one of the fuel tank on the tanks on the left. Click one to select it and then click again to attach it to the bottom of the ship. Fuel tank FLT. The FL series was received as a substantial upgrade over previous fuel containers used in the space program, generally due to its ability to keep the fuel unexploded more often than not. Fuel tanks are useless if there isn't a liquid engine attached under it. They can also be stacked with other fuel tanks to increase the amount of fuel to engine, uh, for the engine below. And what is this? Does this explode? A stretched variant of the fuel tank uh, 400 is the fuel tank 800. Holds twice the fuel in a slightly stronger container. The back stripes along the side make the rocket go faster, our engineers tell us. Okay, I select this one. Ah, okay, I I see, I, I have this. Uh, this is the command module and I should... Wow, it, atta it attaches. Can I rotate it? Ooh, I can look it around. I can look around. Ah, not too bad. You might just be getting the hang out of this. I think so. Now let's add a rocket to the ship. This creates a jet of high energy gas which pushes the vessel along. Select one from the left and edit underneath the fuel tank. Let's pick out the best. LV909 <laughs> It was initially received with some skepticism by spacecraft engineer as it defied the long-standing convention that more power is always better. Despite this the 909 series has found its place in the space program construction world being particularly useful as final stage and landing engine. No wait, more power is better. Max power is 200. Let's put this thing. We need mo Looking good. You remind me of. You remind me of a younger, less experienced, consider less famous version of myself. <laughs> Some parts are designed to be attached to the surfaces of others. These allow you to build intricate radial structures and attach even more rockets. Can I rotate this? I can look around it.
wait, this doesn't look no nice. Why doesn't it why doesn't it attach now? Hey, it's not attached. Uh, this thing won't fly ever. Okay. Yeah, this is not what I exactly what I meant really. really attached is it ah what to do now wait maybe I have to maybe I have to select the part I want to attach yeah okay so what now attach the radial parts of the vessel okay what is this A radial, radial decoupler, like most other decouplers, is equipped with a hopefully small <laughs> explosive charge <laughs> that will se severe the structural or sever the structural linkage between itself and whatever it's, it's a, whatever it's connected to. Okay. And we have yeah why would I want to now take some radial parts of the vessel you can use two large buttons in the bottom left screen to control how the editor duplicates and snaps more symmetry mode yes can we just um <laughs> this doesn't feel right. What should I do? What is this? Hey, please help me. You're supposed to be the tutorial guy. What is reset? Reset doesn't work, does it? I've lost now my... oh, I didn't lose. <laughs> Is it attached? No, it isn't. Why do doesn't it attach? Symmetry mode. Yes, I want to be symmetrical, please. So, if you would just put all parts into one axis and uh, stop this stupid... Angle snap, yes. Snap it all. Oh, look. And maybe I'm supposed to attach this to this somehow. Wait, why are we doing this? I actually don't know what's the goal of this mission. The goal is to 
launch this pod into space, right? And this pod will return. I hope it has a kind of a parachute that it will break when it falls in, into into the atmosphere again. Fuel booster. to lift, yes. No, center of lift, okay. Center of mass. Center of thrust. Really? Is this the center of thrust? Thrust. I just I don't know how do you control this? to decouple the fuel tank from the pod somehow maybe like this but first I would have to attach them back <laughs> oh boy yes okay I think this is the only thing we, we get <laughs> what if how did it happen <laughs> This doesn't look at all like the rocket I was... Ah! Okay, I, I suddenly think I know... ...what they mean. Maybe I can couple two of these columns somehow. I'm sorry guys, this must be extremely boring for you who know, but I really don't know. Does it have to do with anything, anything with the things I have disabled here or enabled here? Reset. I don't want anything. I want to launch this rocket finally, please. Can we do it? I don't need this. Go, go away. Okay, next. Mm. Interesting looking ship. Let's hope it goes better than it looks. If you want to see its weight and lift. No, I don't want to. I want to launch it. 
Last but not least, make sure you assign a name to the vessel and save it. Ready to rock. Looks like time is almost up. I have to give you yet another science briefing to the world of to the world of me. I'll unlock the rest of the parts and features to for you to play. You can hit the launch button. Okay. So can I? Should I save it? Save. Launch. How did I assign a name? Science propulsion control pods. Okay, let's launch this. <laughs> it's not even attached together. What's this? Is this supposed to look like this? Can we launch this? Up on board. Lights, gears, brakes. Okay, ready, staging, docking orbit map. Are we launching this? No target. I don't. Okay, did we launch it or not? It's operational. That's nice. You okay, buddy? It's not launched, is it? Aborting this. No target. Wow, wonderful. Okay. Orbit map. Looks like Europe, isn't it? A bit like Africa. I don't even know where it's launched. Yeah, so launch it, please. Resume flight. Revert flight. Revert to launch. Ha! It's in the middle of the ocean, isn't it? Why is it in the middle of the ocean? It's in the middle of the, of the, of the planet, isn't it? Curious to see what happens if... Actually, it looks like it, it, is, it is launched. This background gets smaller and smaller. Could be that this is actually launched. But what's this distance? Oh, it's it's uh, the the uh, distance to the surface of the planet. It's approaching the surface of the planet from from the planet's core somehow. Very interesting. Very interesting, really. Newtonian physics work. <laughs> it must be a glitch. I'm sure it's it is a glitch because um, the spacecraft wasn't even built together. But I really don't know <laughs> how to how to attach it back together. I guess it needs a, a f foolproof tutorial for me. So now we should be close to the surface. And it should crash at the surface or just fly straight through it. I don't know. Okay, we are above this. We are in the sea now. And it's in the sea. Wonderful. Okay, it landed in the in the ocean. Okay.
but at least we are at the surface now. Anything we can do? Cannot warp time. Docking. Staging. I don't. Can I just go? What's this? Go back to the Kerbal. What are these things which fly away from it? If I set to orbit map, there's a couple of things flying away from it. Can I please go back to the, to the station and uh, develop a new rocket, please, and scenario? Yes, please. Can I resume the game? I think I've saved it. Resume saved. What? I saved it. I clicked save. Okay, once more. 